Hey guys! Well, it's Saturday. It's not Howdy Friday anymore. It's so... Oh, wait, no. Maybe this way. So what Saturday? <laughs> so what? So what? It's Saturday. So what? What have I sewn? I have sewn and sewn. I have been very busy this week because I wanted to show you some cool things, things that I wanted to do, but I also wanted to prove to myself that I could do a bunch of things in a week. Here, my co-host today is Rags, Raggedy Ann. She was so impressed with this girl, with her lovely jumper. I had to make one for Rags too. Now, you'll see that she's got a different little color scheme. I made her shirt out of a tablecloth that I got Remember when I was in Florida visiting my mother and we went in that junky, junky shop? Oh, I love the junk. Just don't rub your eyes <laughs> when you go in. You could get an infection. But they had all kinds of fabric. Never look down on fabric because this was a tablecloth. And I thought it looked a little more homespun. And that's, uh, that's the look that Rags has. She, uh, she got the same kind of uh, overalls, but like I said, different shirt. I love making clothes for her because raggedies are my favorite. I will put her right back over here because we want her to join in on all the crazy fun. So that was the first thing I did. I squirted that out in one day. Then I received in the mail this. I posted about it earlier this week. My friend Kathy sent me this strange doll that she found at a garage sale. Now, when he first came, he, she, uh, there was some uh, stitching on the back, on the on his bottom there. Uh, it was name and weight of somebody's new baby. Oh, that's adorable. They also had a little heart stitched right here. I went ahead and clipped all that off, and I have to say, that was not very easy. Clip, clipping off somebody else's um, embroidery is very involved and if you want to take machine embroidery off of something you've got more patience than I do it takes a lot of snipping the fibers are really mixed together and you could accidentally put a hole in something so you might want to be extra extra careful if you ever try to do something like that this one was a little more involved than I thought it was going to be but it came off you know 15 30 minutes and now we've got a blank slate what will we be? I, she wanted me, and really it wasn't like a commission. She's kind of like me. She thinks, oh, poor little doll. Poor little doll never got an identity. This doll needs a face. Just sort of a, a sad little doll feeling in her heart, and we are so alike in that way. You just think, oh, you know, you could have brought happiness to someone. You could make somebody smile, but instead somebody started you didn't turn out the way they thought, and they cast you aside. It happens, but let's don't let it happen for this guy. And I do kind of feel like it's a guy. I tend to like making girl dolls more because I'm a girl, and dolls are supposedly an expression of the self. Mm. Mm. I just do it for joy. And girls have pretty clothes. Meh. But... We can make this guy some very nice clothes too, and it would be good practice because um, sometimes we like to make boy, boy dolls. Boys like dolls. My boys, well, they played with little guys. We would go down the little guy aisle at Walmart whenever we went there. Little guys were like the little action figures and superheroes and soldiers. Little guys. Um, and so I called them their little guys. But who are we kidding? They're dolls, all right? So, dolls for boys? Sure, why not? Next, I made... Oh, get ready for it, guys. Remember, I was telling you that I wanted to make this fabulous sewing caddy? Uh, elephant sewing caddy. Really, he's a pincushion. Since I've started this whole venture, this whole sewing extravaganza, I don't have enough pincushions. I actually bought a pin cushion. Now, that may not seem like a big deal to you, but it's really big in my world because I grew up surrounded by women sewing. And 
sewing supplies just came to me. You know, I have uh, a pin cushion, I've got scissors, I've got all these things. A lot of them belong to my mother. Some may have even belonged to my grandmother. I got a needle the other day. I was like, oh, all my needles are loaded with different threads and I need just a needle, a darning needle. I had to go into the unused needle cache. These needles are old. They are really old. I have some really old things and they've never been used. I pulled this needle out and thought, you've been waiting for decades. For so wait, wait, I have to have an actual needle. And I think this is, this could be the needle. You've been waiting for decades just to sew a couple of stitches. You thought that your, your purpose for existence was never going to be. Sometimes I talk to my things. Okay, so I pulled this needle out. Well, anyway, long story short, pin cushions. I don't have enough. I bought pins and another pin cushion about a month or two ago, but it's a lot more fun to make your own. So you saw the picture. Here's the reality. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. It's an elephant. Okay. The best part about this elephant, I don't know. There are many really, really nice things about them. All right. Thimble goes right there. Scissors. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I don't have any scissors. I'll have to, no. I don't have any scissors. Here's a picture. Scissors in the little scissor holder. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. And also he comes with, and you saw in the picture, this little drum thing where he can pose on it. Oh no, it's so cute. And it's another pin cushion. I stuffed him with polyfill in his body, but his legs, which are so movable, I mixed polyfill, fill, sorry, I don't wanna say feel, gives away my Tennessee-ness, polyfill uh, with sand, and so they're nice and weighty, and he stands really well. Can you see that? Can you see how he just stands there? And he stands there, okay. And again, this with the little stars, I cut this all out of felt. A lot of it was felt that I already had. I picked up some more at Hobby Lobby. I think it was 23 cents a sheet, maybe 33 cents for, for a, a piece about this size. And they were on half price or something ridiculous. They were basically practically free. And so I got a few of those and it was kind of fun. You know, felt feels good. This I picked up today at Walmart. I know Walmart is such an evil, wicked thing and I shouldn't go there, but alas. And I thought that I would be making some more felt things because it was so gratifying to sew. You put these bright, dense colors next to each other and you just get all kinds of awesome things. I also took the opportunity to arrange my felt collection. This is a big giant boot box that I got from one of the houses that I cleaned. The woman was precious, but she had a problem. She really liked shoes. so. She gave me all her shoe boxes, and they are great for organizing things. This is my felt. Uh, originally, I had them in little bundles according to color, but I decided to take them out and make them into long strips so that I could access them easily. I don't know. I think the folding way, the, the Marie Kondo looking way, was really a little bit better, but we'll see. We'll put it to the test. We'll use it for a few weeks and see what happens. There you go. The reason I got more felt is because I also made, I left it over here, uh, uh, this. <laughs> it's another pin cushion. Okay, I'm out of control, but look at it. Look at its little face. This was made from a great pattern that I got off the internet from Helen and Rosie in Somerset, England. They're in the middle of moving. 
Bustle and Sew is the name of her company, her magazine, her website, her newsletter. I highly encourage you to check it out. But here it is. I printed it out. It is adorable. And you can see her finished mice. Here on the back, I have uh, the patterns that I cut out and covered. You may be going, Connie, wow, what is that you've got there? All right. These are like clear plastic sheet uh, covers that you get to, you know, if you're into academia, you might have a very special report and you put each page inside one of these and it keeps it nice and uh, straight and clean and it doesn't get all beat up and wrinkled and stuff. So here's what it looks like. See, just clear. You get a package of 10 or 20 or however many. I like to take a piece of paper or some cardstock. Cardstock has so many uses. You know, I'll put this cardstock in here to uh, <laughs> to challenge my motor skills. Okay, to uh, stiffen up the page, but it also turns one page into two. The front will hold this great um, printout that I made. <laughs> Now see, if you weren't watching, it would slide right in there. Okay, see? And on the back, as you saw just a few minutes ago, is my pattern. And it all goes in my fabulous, fabulous notebook. I know that uh, file cabinets are in my future. In fact, I have them. That doesn't surprise you, I know. But, oh, and the, um, the elephant had so many little pieces that I put them in this envelope. See, here, are, here, here, here they are. <laughs> it's terrible show and tell. But some of them are really, really itty, and we don't want to lose little itty things, so we put them somewhere where they won't get lost. And uh, I'll show you a better up-close version of what my notebook looks like. Perhaps if I get really coordinated and uh, insert a video within a video. Oh, the technology. It is staggering. But here it is. See? I have lots of pages with all kinds of things in there. I keep it right here under my desk so I can snag it anytime. And I do a lot of snagging. All right, that was a lot, but I really wanted to say that as adorable as this little mouse is, and I do think it is quite adorable, turned out a little bigger than I thought. I was thinking it would be smaller because, um, I don't know, the picture, I guess, but really, I mean, it makes sense that it's this size because it is a pin cushion mouse. I mean. How many pins can you get in a mouse this size? But it got me to thinking, what if I make the pattern, I don't know, a third smaller, maybe even a half, and make them little and then give them away? Sort of like a, a very special business card. I don't know. I, or could make a bunch of them. I saw this one thing uh, on a YouTube channel this woman in England, because they are such stitchers over there, oh, those guys, she had made tons and tons of these, about half the size, and y'all, she was using them to decorate a Christmas tree. What? What? Oh, and they were adorable. They were all different, you know, and they each had little you know, sprigs of holly or a little green vest or something just Christmas adorable. She had a whole table of them and she was cranking them out one after the other because they were much smaller, of course. So there may be tiny of these in the future. Tiny of these. You understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I've gotten so much out of this book. I love it so much. Let's see, have I talked about everything that I wanted to say because there's so much in my heart to share with you? Well, let's talk about what's coming up. I will be making a Sopapilla cheesecake later on today. Uh, if you wanna go to my Facebook, I'll probably be putting uh, 
but posting the recipe and some pictures and things like that because every once in a while we like to cook but I'll post that later on on my Facebook page Peace Home Studio is what it's called just go to Facebook and search it out and you'll find also a lot of other videos as well because we're jumping from Friday to Saturday and everybody's gonna get a little hung up on Friday you probably saw my hey wait a minute uh, video I've also put a playlist of some of my other videos that I made and just haven't really moved over to my YouTube channel for various reasons. Some of them are just early ones where I'm ugh, terrible at it. Some of them I don't like what I'm wearing. Some, some of them kind of drabble along. Some of them are sort of time-centric, like they were for that time, they were for Easter, or they were in a line of things that kind of were linked together, and I thought, eh, YouTubers don't want to see that, but you might, and so they're in a playlist together. A few of the faves, uh, the circus one is is one that actually I, someone requested that I put on YouTube, so the circus one is on there. When I first started talking about our elephant bud, look, his tail, he even has one of those little those little deals, you know, to sharpen. Do you know what that's for? It's to sharpen your needles. There's emery particles in there, like what you use to file your fingernails. And I know that, once again, I have so many old things like hat pins and weird things that got dredged up from ancient jewelry boxes that people passed around full of 1930s costume jewelry. And occasionally you'll find hat pins and they've gotten kind of rusty. Maybe some of your pins or needles are a little rusty. If they're still uh, usable, all you do is stick them in these like this. Well, I can't do it now. Oh no, I lost his thimble. But you stick it in there and you kind of work it and it will not only clean the rust off, but it'll also sharpen them again and we like our stuff sharp. All right, uh, that's in the future, and I would also like to make a raggedy. I've not tried as much as I love these guys. I've made some things that were raggedy inspired, but I've not made an actual raggedy. Possibilities are endless. Where is it gonna end up? Where will I end up? Well, wherever it is, I hope you're with me. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, drop them under the thing. Uh, I've got a blog, a blog I never write on, and so I'm going to try and give that a little more uh, uh, attention these days. Of course, I'm going to be sewing, 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 sewing. And guess what, guys? Let's see. July... Wait, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Oh my goodness. We are closing in on the end of the first half of the year, which means six months and a few weeks to Christmas. Oh, guys, don't hate me because I love Christmas. Don't, don't hate me. I love it. I love it. We're going to start thinking early because... December you will thank July and August you for getting a jump on the horror of Christmas. Really, Christmas is wonderful. I love Christmas. But it's all the work and the pleasing. Don't give yourself to the pleasing. You want to please everybody, but you can't please everybody. It's impossible. And if someone says you can, they're lying. You can't please everyone. Do what makes you happy in your heart and spread the happy as much as you can, realistically. And if you can get started early so that you can prepare for several really precious moments during the holidays, that's what it's all about. Friends and family, love and togetherness, that is what I love most about the holidays. And when you have something, it doesn't have to be elaborate, but sweet, thoughtful, something you made with your own hands or something you found in an extremely weird, out-of-the-way place, but it shows the person that you're giving the gift to that you're thinking about them all the time, that you're reflecting on your times together and you're remembering the things that make them smile. <sighs> it's 
Sorry. I'm having a Walton's moment here. Okay. All right. Do what you can. Do a little every day. Don't save it up to the last minute. Just enjoy. Life is short. Grab all you can. And I'll see you next week with some new stuff that I made. Maybe you could send me some questions, tell me some answers, and we'll talk about that too. So, 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 so. So what? So everything. Because it's So What Saturday. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week.